feel about the size of the audiences? I've been a little disappointed. And they said, could you persuade Stan and Ollie to do some publicity in order to turn the tour around? Would there be any more money? <sighs> they said no. Well, who is they? People. The worst kind. Here we are. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> How is Oliver? Hmm? He pulling weight? How's your knee? It hurts. Is he even pushing you a little too hard, babe? No. You could have long time ago said goodbye, Oliver. That's all in the past. You're not oh. still carrying that around, are you? Because I went ahead and did a picture with someone else 16 years ago. You and Harry are just going to be great together. Mm -hmm. Couldn't sleep for days when they told me what you did. And I couldn't sleep when I did it. You betrayed me. Betrayed our friendship. I loved us. You loved Laurel and Hardy. But you never loved me. The doctors told me I can't continue with the tour. My heart won't take it. He asked me, since you were sick, if I wouldn't mind carrying on the show with somebody else. May I introduce to you Mr. Nobby Cook? You're not leaving, are you, Stan? The show must... Oh, hi. This is Trinidad, the island man, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And today, uh, Sunday, um, what is it, uh, January 2019, the 26th, I believe, uh, this weekend I saw a nice, small, artsy film called Stan and Ollie. Uh, now, this is the story of basically the end of Laurel and Hardy's illustrious Hollywood career, um, you know, uh, spanning all the way back from the 30s, 40s, and uh, into the 50s, uh, where their career was kind of coming to an end, coming to a close as audiences and the public basically, you know, had new entertainment options in addition to the movies uh you know television was breaking great ground uh, at that time with the american people uh and also throughout the world um and new stars uh, you know we're just replacing the golden age of hollywood uh stardom and stan and ollie although their comedy was still uh, bringing smiles to people's faces. It wasn't putting, uh, you know, the seats in the chairs as much as uh, people uh, are feeling today, as movie theaters maybe are feeling very much the same way today uh, with, you know, the new streaming services, uh, Netflix, you know, the Disney streaming service about to lift off, uh, iTunes, uh, Apple TV going to be taking off here shortly with their own streaming service, along with Hulu and, and thousands of others, uh, you know, including like the independent stations, you know, CBS All Access, etc. Uh, well, but I digress. Remember our rating scale? Shock a thumbs up. It's good to see. I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down. It's bad to see. It's junk. I don't recommend it. And for Stan and Ollie, uh, this movie starring uh, Steve Coogan and John C. Riley. It is a shock. So basically, uh, Stan Laurel uh, is played by Steve Coogan. Uh, Oliver Hardy is played by John C. Riley. And, um, you know, uh, the prosthetics, the makeup uh, to make, uh, you know, John C. Riley look like Oliver Hardy uh, with the weight gain and everything is, is superb. Um, you know, it almost, it looks real, like he, you know, weighed 300, almost, you know, 350 or something easily, whatever, uh, you know, the original, uh, Ollie had weighed, um, you know, which, you know, later in life, this, uh, this movie takes place in the late fifties, um, pretty much their movie career, Stan and, well, Laurel and Hardy, uh, their movie career is on, on the outs. Uh, having come through the golden age of movies, uh, newer comedians such as like uh, Bud Abbott, Lou Costello, 
uh, along with many, many others, were taking their place in what were the movies of, of their time and the comedy that they were doing. Uh, you know, and they weren't the only ones, you know, of course, um, you know, you had, um, you know, the Marx Brothers uh, kind of being replaced by, uh, oh, uh, you know, being replaced as well um, by, you know, Mo <laughs> Curly and, uh, you know, um, many, many, many others uh, out there. Um, but so what they do is they take a European tour, taking their act on the road uh, throughout England and most of Europe, um, where at first the public, you know, because there's very little advertising uh, associated with their, their live tour, uh, their audience was very small. But as, as their promoter uh, pushes them into more public, uh, you know, uh, advertisement, basically uh, public openings, events such as that, you know, uh, beauty, uh, pageants, etc., uh, they are able to go ahead and bring in the crowd that they once used to. Uh, throughout the rest of their tour. Unfortunately, uh, being well in their 50s, early 60s even, uh, this begins to take a toll on their health, and Ollie, you know, his weight uh, had always affected his heart, uh, and uh, he finds that he has to basically end the tour, uh, you know, and we find out that uh, Laurel had attempted to use this tour to uh, push into a new movie uh, as, you know, as kind of a golden parachute retirement uh, idea as, as, you know, at the time, you know, as most uh, golden screen uh, uh, idols were not, uh, you know, given any additional income due to reruns on television from their movies or even television appearances after that. Um, you know, or even re redoing of their movies. Uh, they just were paid their contract fee, and that was it. Um, and it kind of goes into the dynamics of the uh, comedy duel, their friendship, uh, and it, it transverses this very well. If not, uh, perhaps maybe a little too quick, you'd kind of like to see it a little bit more of the seriousness. It pokes fun at it a little bit. Uh, but still, it's not quite there as far as maybe becoming an Oscar contender for this film. But uh, definitely, it is a fun take on it. And you do get to see definitely their dynamic uh, between the two uh, characters. And what drove many of their older fans, you know, to the theater to see them during some of their last performances. Um, you know, and how, how they had to kind of sort of deal with that. Well, all right. Well, this is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, saying shock a thumbs up for the movie Stan and Ollie, uh, playing only at the Kahala Mall. I don't think it's going to go anywhere wider, uh, you know, but definitely check it out on Netflix when it's streaming and you'll enjoy it. Uh, your parents will definitely enjoy it, uh, as I know mine would have. All right. Thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, saying aloha.